Basically, the lights get warmer, more subdued, and nature sounds play in the background. It's all very trippy. Hi guys, Alina here. Welcome back to Need to Know, the special edition. And that's because it's the second day of IFA and we've already picked your favorite things that are also super useful. Where? In the rooms we now spend most of our time. Living room, kitchen, maybe the terrace. Phones, earbuds and wearables are what we crave, but honestly, this year we felt a bigger need for a seriously good TV, a dependable projector and a kick-ass fridge. And maybe even a mask. Definitely a mask that we can wear for hours on end without our face sweating, makeup dripping and beard struggling. And LG, Samsung and Philips delivered. Just like LG did in their nifty virtual tour, let's start from the living room. Hoping to change your TV soon? We spotted a very good one for you. The OLED Plus 935 from Philips. Yeah, I know, the name is a bit off-putting. Doesn't say much of anything, except that it's OLED. And turns out it's not because it doesn't have anything to say. In fact, where do I start? Okay, we have three models, a 48-inch, which will roll out in October, with a 55 and a 65-inch that's out now. It's super slim, has small, unnoticeable bezels and ambilight tech. That's Philips Systems to sync its lights on four sides, with the colors on the display. We've seen similar take in gaming gear. Now, you've also got Ambilight Air, which syncs the lights from the TV with ones from Philips' new speakers, so all of them are in tune. And there's also a wellness part to this, Ambi Sleep. Basically, the lights get warmer, more subdued, and nature sounds play in the background. It's all very trippy. Another thing you'll probably love is the anti-burn-in feature. Like with all OLEDs, there's a the risk of burn-in over time. Philips is hoping to solve this issue by keeping an eye open for the zones with static content, like logos or some options in games, and gradually decrease the light output sent there. Do you get any smart features? Of course, its AI is hard at work, there's support for all the major HDR formats, and there's DTS PlayFi at the audio helm. Though the Philips Sound app, you guys can connect to this TV with other DTS PlayFi wireless speakers throughout the house. No latency, no wires. By the way, audio plays a big role here as LG leveled up with the Bowers and Wilkins tweeter on top, which acts like a table on top stand. That sounds good and all, but how much is it, right? From 2000 euros for the 48 model and 3000 euros for the 65 one. Before we get to the kitchen, see what's freezing up there, I don't want to forget this. There's also a soundbar that drew our attention, the Fidelio B97 from the Philips team. I'll let you find more details on your own, but honestly, check it out for the detachable speakers. Those work as surround channels when you unstick them. There are 17 drivers overall with an 8-inch bass driver and, surprise, surprise, IMAX enhanced, guys. Yes, this is the first soundbar from Philips that's certified to play your IMAX content as loud and deep as in an IMAX cinema. And considering we don't know when we'll be back in a movie theater to watch one, I'm all in for it. Chilling drinks or mixing cocktails, it's something I think we should all hold on to, at least for a while more, until the weather cools down. So, a fridge that not only cools but disinfects the water outlets anytime you want is right up your alley. LG came up with an upgraded InstaView. Besides the UV nanotech, there's also some temperature management and even cooling. LG says we'll take fewer trips to the supermarket, guys. Hmm, what do you think about that? And since we're in the health zone, you need to know about their techie face mask, just announced. Not gonna lie, looks a bit bulky, reminds us a bit of Tom Hardy's Bane, but there's an explanation for that. Inside, there are two H13 HEPA filters like the ones in the home purifiers, a battery and two fans, plus a respiratory sensor. What the sensor does is to detect the cycle of air intake and adjust the fans to it. The 820 milliamp hour battery gives you 8 hours of use in low mode and 2 in high. 
There are also UV lights that kill germs, even though they say the mask is snug. So, I mean, extra precaution? Plus, the PureCare face mask connects to the ThinQ platform and lets you know when the filters need replacing. We're not sure when this face mask will be available, but it's one of the first health gadgets of its kind that went past the concept stage. Finally, company is giving us what we really need. And finally, burgers done? It's time to take them to the terrace. It's safe, it's intimate, and with the right projector, I feel like you could end up having quite the night. From what we've seen, Samsung's The Premiere and LG's new Cinebeam go head-to-head -head this fall. How will you decide? I mean, they're both 4K, more or less same peak brightness, with a mode that takes into account the director's vision for the movie and tries to render it. But LG also has something called iris mode, which detects how much light is in the room to adjust the picture. The Premiere is ultra short throw, meaning you can place it right beside the wall and you won't have any issues watching your Netflix movie. Yes, it connects to your phone or streaming services easily. And the Cinebeam 2. Samsung's baby, though, is the first with the triple laser tech that supports HDR10+. The Cinebeam only has HDR10 support. Plus, the Premiere has built-in woofers and is gonna give you a surround sound. Sound and image? I like two-in-one devices. How about you? What's missing from your home? A projector, a better fridge, a TV or a soundbar? And did any of these catch your eye? Tell us in the comments and don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to see more videos like this. Stay safe, guys!